Hello friends! New product Klesch One Plus Laser Flashlight. In this review I will tell you about its features, characteristics, in particular weight, size, illumination characteristics. I will answer a popular question why do we state luxes not lumens in our manuals. I will give a detailed explanation. Also I will show what is in the kit and how to switch between modes. Клич 1 плюс ЛЦУ, расстояние 12 метров. My name is Anastasia. The main feature of this device is that the laser model is hidden inside the reflector. So, for example, in Клич 2PS plus laser flashlight there is a separate model. In this one it is hidden inside, that's why the size is lowered. And that's good. So it is made in three modifications depending on the color of laser. Clash 1 plus laser red, visible flashlight, visible red laser. Clash 1 plus laser green, visible flashlight, visible green laser. And finally, an infrared modification, infrared laser, infrared flashlight to work with a night vision device. All three modifications have same kit. So I will explain on an example of Clash 1 plus laser green. All other modifications have the same things in the kit. So the kit includes the manual in Russian and in English and an aluminum cylinder with everything else. So let's see what's inside. The kit includes the flashlight. It is a universal flashlight for pistols and for rifles. It has two rear parts, pistol rear part and rifle rear part. This is a pistol rear part. That does not mean that in this setup you install it only on pistols. It can be used on rifles as well, mostly in the situations when you do not plan to use tactical switches. This is the rifle rear part. It has a connector to connect a tactical switch and to replace them you unscrew two screws and replace them. The battery is replaced the same way. The device uses two batteries CR123. Tactical switch KVD1P, new generation switch from the D line. It has a safety lock and it can be installed directly both on Picatinny rail and on basis rail. For Picatinny rail there is an adapter in the kit, looks like this. And for basis rail there are two mounts, plate mount and oval mount. I would also like to speak about um, zeroing units to zero the laser. If you have some experience with our pierced lasers, those units are familiar to you, but we updated them a little bit. So we changed the cover shape. I can unscrew it. And I make zeroing by the cover. So I insert it here. It has a very clear click. I can hear it, I can feel it, very comfortable. Let's move to illumination characteristics. What does the manual say? Illumination of the walking surface located on a plane perpendicular to the optical axis of the product at a distance of 5 
meters with an external illumination of no more than 0.3 lux in the center of the light spot, not less than 300 lux in continuous mode and not less than 500 lux in tactical mode. What does it mean? First of all, in tactical mode the brightness is higher. I will show that when I demonstrate the modes. Next, lumens and luxes. Why do we state luxes? I'll explain. So lumens, they characterize the luminous flux, the amount of light that a certain source of light can give. So that is an amount of light from a certain source of light. And for example, when uh, LEDs are bought, they have passports and in those passports possible number of lumens is stated. And uh, we must understand that it may vary. It may vary depending on the amperage that we give to the LED. And there is also certain level of amperage at which the LED will burn. So higher amperage, higher lumens, higher brightness, but less battery life. Magic unfortunately does not exist. If we give more energy to the LED, the battery will die faster. So that's always a compromise, a compromise between brightness and battery life. And uh, Zenitko has vast experience of manufacturing of firearm accessories and firearm flashlights, and we figured out the optimal lumen level. Uh, firearm flashlights, they're mostly used inside, not outside. Outside they're used only if we pick up animals uh, after we shoot them on hunting. In other situations, mostly inside. And inside there are a lot of reflecting surfaces. And uh, light reflects and it might blind the shooter. That's why too bright light is actually bad. So too bright is bad, not bright is bad, optimal is good. And optimal level is 300, 400 lumens. And uh, in our flashlight we um, mostly try to make uh, them in this range. And another thing that you should understand is that lumens, they do not characterize what we see with our eyes. For example, there are two LEDs, we give the same amperage to them, but the reflector is different. For example, in one of them the reflector is deeper, in the other the reflector is not so deep and a deeper reflector will create a more concentrated light and it will be perceived by our eyes like a more bright one. And another one with less deep reflector will give a more spread light and it will be perceived as less bright, but lumens will be same. That's why we measure other thing. We measure luxes. What are luxes? Luxes, uh, if we return to the manual, elimination of the working surface. So that is the elimination at the surface. I will explain. For example, this is an LED. LED is inside the reflector. Reflector has a shape of a parabola. Everyone painted parabola at math lessons at school, so here is my parabola. And uh, like this. This is our flashlight. If the light source is positioned in the focus of the parabola, all the rays are parallel to each other. It looks like this. One ray, another ray, another ray, another ray. They are all parallel and they form the central light spot. But that are not all the rays. For example, there are rays that do not reflect from the reflector. For example, this, 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 not reflected. And uh, if you see the light, there is always more light spot and there is less light spot on the border. So this is central light spot. In Russian, for example, we call this spot the moon. So central light spot, the moon. Central is brighter. And we measure brightness at this point. 
and it is measured in luxes. In this case, we are performing brightness control of 2VS1 by 5 flashlight. We are checking brightness at a distance of 5 meters. Victoria Rashidovna turned it on and Vasilisa checked. So, at the end of the manufacturing process, at the point of technical control, we measure this with a lux meter and each flashlight has this measurement stated in the manual of the device. For example, this one that I have just unpacked has 356 luxes and it is a good unit of measurement because everyone can check that. Some manufacturers they speculate with lumens because users can't check them and this unit is very reliable. You can check that, everyone can check that, very easy. Let's move to other characteristics that also can be checked. For example, weight. Weight of Clash 1 plus laser with a pistol rear part and batteries inside is 158 grams. The sizes in absolute units, centimeters, inches, what you like more, this much, and in relative units, let's install that on Glock 17 and see how it looks. While I'm performing the installation, one important parameter, time of work, and uh, in the manual it is stated that time of operation in constant mode from one battery is 1.2 hours, so 1 hour 12 minutes. Where does this number come from and what does it mean? So we know the consumption current on the battery, not on the LED, but the consumption current of the flashlight in general. We know the capacity of the battery. We can calculate the operational time. Then we turn on the flashlight and measure the time of work. If those two measurements, actual time of work and calculated time of work, are close to each other, that means that the battery was normal quality battery. Then we take this number and divide it by 1.5 and write this number in the manual. Why do we lower the operational time? Because we don't know which battery will the user have, whether it will be a normal good quality battery or not so quality battery. And even if the battery is not so good, we will fulfill the requirements. Better lower the number, but fulfill it. So, modes and the first mode you'll face is blocked mode or transport mode, because all the flashlights come from the factory in blocked mode. What does it mean? It means that I press the button and it does not react. So, how to leave this mode, how to switch on other modes. You had time to enjoy how it looks on Glock. Now I'll take just flashlight with the pistol rear part. You must understand that the pistol rear part has back buttons and side buttons. And back buttons are for tactical impulse mode, side buttons are for constant fixed mode. So to leave the blocked mode, you press two side buttons simultaneously. Now it is in constant mode. I've told you that in tactical mode brightness is higher. I press back button, brightness increased and I stop pressing it, it stops working. To switch on stroboscope mode you press the side button twice. Also you may switch between modes, you can choose flashlight plus laser, just flashlight, just laser. For that you press the back button, hold it and then press side button once. Flashlight, once again laser, for example I stop pressing back button, the mode is saved, so I turn it on again, it stays in this mode. Now let's put on another rear part and I will explain the modes on it. Loosen the screws on the rear part Put on the rifle rear part, tighten the screws.
there are some buttons here and writings in Russian. So, is a Russian with an station. This is Russian letter E, which stands for Impulsny, which means Impulse or Tactical Mode. So, this button stands for Impulse Tactical Mode. This is Russian letter F, which means Fixirovany or Fixed Mode, Continuous Mode. This stands for Fixed Continuous Mode. This means to replace batteries, screw out both screws. So, Impulse Mode, Fixed Mode, to enter stroboscope mode, you press this button twice to switch between modes, press hold impulse mode and press 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 this button. Here is an adapter for tactical switch connected by connecting small red dots done This flashlight is compatible with all switches from D-Line. So those switches that start with KVD and uh, it includes KVD 3/2P, a tactical switch that can control two devices simultaneously. So, this switch KVD1P from the kit has a safety lock. If I turn on safety, it is blocked both the switch and buttons on the body. I've told you that if you install the pistol rear part and hold simultaneously two buttons of fixed mode, it enters transport mode. Here on this rear part we have only one button of fixed mode. How to enter transport mode? With the safety lock. So now it is locked. I disconnect the switch. I press buttons and it stays locked. To unlock it, connect the switch back and disable safety. Now it is unlocked. Now I install it on the rifle. The tactical switch can be installed both on basis and on Picatinny rails. So for Picatinny rail it has an adapter in the kit and for basis rail there are two mounts in the kit and also there is a third way of installation. I will show it now. install the flashlight on Picatinny rail and I will install the switch in the place where handguard is connected with upper handguard. On sport kits we use shorter M5 by 7 screws. For a switch you'll need a longer M5 by 9 screw and you have it in the kit in the plate mount. I take it from the plate mount and I install the switch. Done. You can fix the wires by FP3 wire holders. So FP3 wire holders are for basis rail and for Picatinny rail there are FP1 and FP2 wire holders. One more new product that I would like to announce. So if you are familiar with our products, you know that Clash 1 flashlight has a modification Clash 1S, wall of light. So Clash 1 has focused light, Clash 1S has a wall of light, so very wide light without a reflector. For this flashlight there is an analog Clash 1S plus laser. I will demonstrate the difference now. So my colleague on his Saiga 9 has Clash 1 plus laser flashlight and I have Clash 1S plus laser flashlight on my pistol. They are used for different purposes and the choice of flashlight depends on your purposes. Our flashlights can be ordered in partner stores. See the list of official partners on en.zenitko.ru in partners section. If you like the video, press like button. If you have any questions left, please write them in comment section. 
subscribe to our channel, press bell button and there are a lot of new videos to come, so see you in next videos. Goodbye!